Hey guys, this is Josh and I need to know it all and I'm actually coming to you for the second time today. I uh, did a live video, didn't work very good, so I'm going to do the video again recording this time uh, just to get the stuff out there and so the video is a little bit better quality. Um, so guys, today is the uh, 16th of March, it's Monday and baseball is done. Um, Major League Baseball will start up at some point. Um, but it's going to be a while uh, in terms of college baseball, high school baseball. Uh, the CDC pretty much put uh, an end to that yesterday with an announcement. So uh, we'll get into all that, get into stuff about not any know it all, what's going to be going on from here uh, with things. So guys, video is going to be a little bit longer than normal. Uh, but at the same time, you know, got a lot of stuff to talk about. So uh, if you guys notice... A little bit different behind me blue wall uh, you can't see the ground but the flooring is different uh, with no baseball or softball to cover or go do uh, had to do something so actually put in new floors in my hallway kitchen and living room uh, or kitchen dining room living room hallway and I still gotta do two more rooms uh, this was something we plan on doing you know for a while now we actually had all the flooring already bought and already at the house uh, but with no games to cover, nothing to go do, I started working on it. My parents came over and helped out because they had no games, nothing to go do. So we got we got a lot of stuff done. So that was cool. Uh, when that was done, I had all this cleared out because we were putting flooring in the closet. And my wife was like, hey, you want a new color behind you? And I was like, sure, why not? So got the blue. She painted it, took her only like 10 minutes, and I think I kind of like it. It's different, uh, much different than what we had beforehand. So, but that's what happens. No baseball, no softball. I have to do work. So I got flooring done, have to mow the yard probably later today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, just nothing else to do, really. Uh, my oldest daughter, who's in second grade, she's home for the next month. So we're doing homeschooling. That's actually going pretty good, you know. I'm I'm pretty smart. Uh, my youngest daughter, who I'm home with every day, she gets to have her big sister here, so it is what it is. But I'll be honest, I would rather have baseball. I would rather be have there be baseball and school and work. I just rather would. So, guys, let's start at the very top uh, of the leagues, and we'll work our way down. Starting with Major League Baseball, season is not going to start in April. That, that's pretty much complete, done, said. Uh, it's not going to happen. It's looking like June 1st at the earliest. June 1st at the earliest. Think about that. Memorial Day. After Memorial Day. Until we get baseball again. If we're lucky. I've uh, been doing a lot of reading on on what's been going on. You know, obviously, I live in Washington. So, my hometown actually had our, our first official case. Um, I'm pretty sure we've had other cases that just weren't diagnosed because they weren't, uh, people just didn't go in and get, di get checked, do the test because the symptoms weren't that big. So uh, my hometown already has it. Uh, I know a lot of other places across the nation have it. It's supposed to keep spreading for a while. All these quarantines are to slow the spread and hopefully stop it. Uh, I read some stuff about Italy, learned a lot of crazy things about what they're going through. So... I, I hate it, I hate it, and I hate it, but I do understand it at the same time. It makes sense, uh, it stinks, I know it is. So Major League Baseball, you know, they won't even be able to start spring training till really mid-May. The guys are gonna have two weeks to really ramp up, so they're gonna have to be active right now. They're gonna have to be active, have to be getting ready, because once things get going, they're gonna be a go. Now the crazy thing is like, Guys who were hurt and were going to miss this, this, the opening of the season, uh, James Paxton, Justin Verlander, those guys might be fully healthy come start of the season. Uh, they may get be right there. So, so we got that going. You know, I'd love to see Paxton healthy and get a full season, um, whatever that is going to be. Season, obviously, I don't think it's going to be a full season. I think it's going to be a shortened one. Because if you don't, you'll be pushing into uh, really October just with regular season games. Uh, then you go into October and November for the playoffs. Now, I will say, if they have a, a pre-selected location this year, 
let's say that they decide that instead of having a home field advantage um, for the best record, which could be a team like, let's say, New York, they could have snow at, in November or Minnesota or, or, or Chicago or whoever. You know, if you just say, hey, we're going to choose a warm weather location, whether that be uh, Phoenix, whether that be Los Angeles or I'm not sure what Dallas is like in the winter. I would think it's warm, but I could be completely wrong. Uh, maybe Georgia or, or somewhere in Florida. I think this is the one year that could be a possibility just because the circumstances are absolutely crazy. And that would allow for a, maybe a full season to be played, um, which I'd be, you know, I would love that. It'd be awesome. I'd, I'd be completely okay with that. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're getting a short season. I think we're getting, you know, maybe even an adjusted playoffs this year. I don't know how, I don't know what, but things are going to change this year. Um, they just are. Uh, next level down, minor league baseball. And for the minor leaguers, this sucks. Now, if you don't know, they don't get paid um, unless they're on a team playing. Spring training, they don't get paid. So they have not been paid really since the end of August. September, October, November, December, January, February, we're into March, April, May. They're not getting paid. So right now, the guys are having to go home having no paycheck and trying to find work not knowing how long they actually can work at a job so you can't go into a job saying oh yeah i can uh, i'm yours i'll work here for a long time now you're going to say well i, I might work here for a month a couple weeks no employer is going to really just do that now there are some there are some employers who have been sending out information saying hey we'll hire these guys bring them in do it but there's also been a lot of uh, a lot of minor leaders who are realizing they just can't they can't do this. They're not going to make it. You know, it's going to be tough on them, uh, even more than, than usual. So you have a lot of individuals who are uh, trying to create sponsors for different minor leaguers, guys, uh, people who can send $100, $200 to a month to help guys with food, with basic things. Uh, Eric Sim, a former minor league player, uh, he lives up in Canada. He's been doing fundraising, and he's the one who got the whole – uh, send a Chipotle gift card to a player and you know great stuff on his behalf but he shouldn't have to do that this should be Major League Baseball stepping in and saying hey we'll pay the guys we'll take care of things and you know, even the Yankee uh, the minor league player for the Yankees who has the coronavirus other Yankee players who are there have been quarantined in the motel room they're getting little things of food for each meal I mean my my daughters eat more than that my my second grader and my three-year-old are eating more than that so i don't know it's it's crazy uh you know minor league baseball deserves better and i think it's time for them to have a union i'm not a big union guy i am not minor league baseball needs one they need one right now they need it they need it they need it okay next level down guys ncaa we all know they canceled uh, the College World Series last week on Thursday seemed ludicrous. Not so much anymore. It seems like they kind of were ahead of the game, um, which is sad that we've, you know, had to go through this. Uh, they have announced that they'll be giving everybody one year of eligibility back. But I've I've been really checking on a lot of the seniors, the guys who I follow, guys who I have seen retweeted and commented on, and a lot of them aren't coming back. They had their plans of graduating this spring and moving on with life, whether that be um, starting a family or getting a job or just moving on with life, whatever that entails. I think we may be a little surprised at how many guys don't come back for their extra year of eligibility. I would say less than 50%. I would say maybe 30% come back, and that's it. Um, so I've talked about in my other videos how this might – you know, create a log jam of players and the more I'm looking at this the more information I'm getting the less I'm seeing that now it may still happen where a lot of guys come back I don't think so I think a lot of players were planning on this being the being it uh, whether once again starting life or maybe going pro and now they're you know they realize that's what they're gonna do now and it's it's heartbreaking that guys don't have a chance to end their careers playing the game so um, you know, it stinks. NAIA has done the same thing. They announced today that they're going to be 
uh, done for the, the spring, and that stinks. Uh, they're giving the same eligibility thing that NCAA is doing. That's great. Once again, I don't know if that's going to help. Uh, National Junior College Athletic Association, I think it's NJCAA, something like that. Uh, they announced their spring's done as well. The only conference I haven't uh, heard officially announce anything is NWAC here in the Northwest. But most of the teams are Washington-based. And let's be honest, I don't think there's going to be a lot of traveling uh, for the next eight weeks and beyond. So I'm guessing that might be done. And that stinks. That impacts not any know-it-all in a huge way. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, so we got that. High schools are done. High school seasons are done across the nation. Uh, I'm not sure if there, there might be some school districts and some uh, locations where they're still planning on starting up. Uh, but Washington's done. Uh, I'm pretty sure Oregon's done. And that's heartbreaking, too, because there is no extra year of eligibility for high schoolers. They're done. Um, so is what it is. Uh, you know, whatever. Can't do anything about it. So, guys, moving on to nine inning know it all. What we got going on here? Um, this is a blow. This is a big blow for us, um, for me specifically, because you know invested a lot in this year. This was supposed to be a big year. It was turning out to be a big year right off the bat, and hit a wall. Um, we'll talk about that in a second, guys. But. As far as the site, site's gonna stay up, Facebook's gonna stay up, Twitter's gonna stay up, Instagram's gonna stay up. Um, I've already paid for the site to be active for the next two years at the very least, so that's not going away. We'll still have articles, probably not a whole lot of articles. Um, I talked with Kelly, my brother-in-law, who's been a part of 90 Know It All for, what, maybe seven years now, um, almost since the beginning, and he's reaching out to people that he knows, everyone he can to uh, try and draw some people in to write articles for us to give us some content so we have stuff going for the next couple months so if you're interested in writing an article what baseball means to me baseball memories favorite baseball movies I don't if it's baseball related write about it send it to us we'll post it I mean I'll be honest I'll, I'll post it I'm not, I'm not even hesitating at this point if you have content that you want to put up let me know just let me know. If you want ideas, let me know. I got tons of them. We had lots of things you can write about. So, um, yeah, we're going to have content. Uh, the thing right now that this, that's in the air, that's the question mark, is the photography side of 90 Know It All. Um, you know, like I said, I've already paid for the site to be active. I've already paid for the photography site to be active. But I don't, you know, this was supposed to be a year where I was going to really try and draw up interest and. In, the first three weeks of the season, I was drawing great interest. I was having um, Patreon supporters come in and join and be a part of it, and they're still there. They are amazing. They've Every one of them that I've talked to has been like, yeah, we're here for the long run, and that means so much to me. But at the same time, I feel bad because I'm not providing them with photos of their athlete because there are no games. They know it's not my fault, but I still feel bad. And I feel like I don't so they don't have something giving to them that I shouldn't be asking for their support um, once again they've always said they're they don't care they're gonna keep supporting me but I, I still feel I feel off about that um, but at the same time I know there's a lot of you out there who want to keep not any note all going want to keep things going and if if you want to become a patreon supporter to say hey I believe in what's what you guys are doing let's keep it going Please, um, that way I, I can look and say, okay, maybe I should keep going full bore and, and not um, give up. Uh, once again, the site's going, but photography, that's it's rough. It's rough. This was, it cost me, last year I think I spent about $2,000 trying to get to games and do all the different things I was doing. Uh, didn't break even last year, which is okay. But when you lose $500, $600 in a year, trying to do this you, you got to try and get closer or hopefully try and even make a little bit so um, that's what patreon's there to help to make it so i don't uh, feel that that burden trying to get to all the games you know, paying for gas paying for food just paying to be there so um if you guys want to help 90 know it all out and keep us going at full speed the way we're going uh patreon's the way to go even if it's only a dollar a month 
I'll be honest, a dollar a month means something. It means something. Three dollars a month means something. Five dollars, ten. If you're a business that wants to do um, kind of ads with us, I've got one business that already jumped on and they are helping out for a year. Uh, I got their little banner on the website and that, man, that, that was a huge impact. That was big. That was big and helpful uh, to keep things going, but I could use more, more individuals, more businesses, just keep things going. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have to be a lot each month. It could be a dollar a month, $2 a month. That makes an impact knowing that I can plan and prepare for this summer to hit it really hard. Um, I was going. To, I was planning on doing over 200 games this year, and now that's been cut in half, almost. Um, you know, maybe I, I'll sure I'll find more games to cover this summer that I wasn't planning on covering, uh, which means it's going to be absolutely crazy. But you know, if that's what I have to do. That's what I have to do. Um, if I'm done covering games, photography wise, it's been super fun. Got to finish off on a great doubleheader. Uh, of softball um, if I do get to cover more then great I'm excited for that too I'm excited so um, you know what site's going to be going just trying to sit down and figure out what we're doing with the photography side I'm trying to see if I can still make it physically viable uh, there's still hope I'm not giving up once again the patreon supporters are what's keeping me going uh, without them I would be there would be no site there'd be nothing uh, the Patreon supporters have kept the site alive, um, kept me going. So once again, guys, I know I say it all the time, Patreon, Patreon, but it really does. It It makes it so the site exists. Um, whether it's a few dollars a month, it makes an impact. And I know that's asking a lot for a lot of people. This is going to be a tough time. Um, small businesses all across the nation are going to be hurting. Um, people aren't going to be able to get to work. So I know I'm asking a lot. Um, but please consider it. So a lot of stuff, you know, baseball will come back, um, but it's going to come back different. It's going to look different. And I miss the days where our biggest issue was the Astros cheating. I miss those days already. Um, I would rather talk about a team that cheated than no teams at all. So guys, we're looking for content. I'm going to try and think of things for videos. I may sit and talk about different baseball movies. I'll watch Moneyball and talk about it for 10 minutes. I'll watch League of Their Own or Bull Durham, which I know, rough life, that's what I have to do to keep things going. But at some point, I'm going to run out of content. I, I am. And I need ideas, I need topics, whatever I can get. Um, so guys, I don't want this to be a boo-hoo sad video, but I'm in Washington State and... We're pretty much quarantined. So it's good. It stinks. I hate it. Um, at least I'm able to take my daughters outside and hit wiffle balls and do stuff like that. Um, but it, it's, it stinks right now. So guys, I know it stinks for everybody across the nation. I know you're all being affected. Uh, be safe. Wash your hands. And know that this quarantine isn't necessary to keep you safe. Um, but it is to keep those who are at risk safe, um, especially if the hospitals get overrun with people who have the virus. Uh, that means people who have traumas, whether it be heart attacks, strokes, or things like that, they can't get in. And we know that's not good. So, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Can't change it, um, but we can do our best. Keep fighting and move forward and know that baseball will return. It will be back. So, guys, I'm Josh, the 90 know it all Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I'll have the Patreon link down in the description below. Um, subscribe button will be up here. And yeah, watch the videos. Watch 90 Know It All videos for fun. Um, I got enough hours of videos to get you through a few days at least. Some great interviews. I think I'm up to like 100 interviews almost. I need to check that. Um, so guys, talk to you later. Have a good day. Be safe.